Hey good people, welcome back to my channel, Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping in and clicking on the video. And if you're not, thank you so much for coming back. You know I love y'all. All right, so I think this is gonna be one of the most exciting videos for me because I'm gonna be talking all about Pat McGrath. I'm gonna be talking about her brand new collection that's gonna be released tomorrow, at least the palette. And I'm just gonna be talking about all of her palettes and you know, if you're wondering which Pat McGrath palette is for you, this is gonna be the perfect video because I've got them all. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in seeing, keep on watching this video. Don't forget to leave me some comments in the comment section and definitely consider subscribing and joining my community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So what's happening? It's happening. Pat McGrath announced her 2020 holiday collection, Celestial Divinity. And at first I felt really bad because part of the collection was leaked. And you know, I think that kind of sucks. Like if you work hard on something and a picture of it gets leaked before you're ready, you know, that, that really sucks. When Pat McGrath is gonna have something new coming out, she usually has her gold sequins and she only shows part of the product and then she'll, you know, give you some teasers. So anyway, that was kind of spoiled and I was like, damn. But what wasn't spoiled was that there was way more to this collection than what was leaked. So I was definitely happy about that and really pleasantly surprised. So let's talk about the collection real quick and then we'll talk about my collection. All right, so Celestial Divinity. The first thing that's gonna be released tomorrow, Friday the 25th is the mega palette now this palette is gonna have you look at you see i don't have no notes i don't have any notes <laughs> that's because i'm obsessed the palette's gonna have 18 shades 12 of the 18 shades are repeats and i don't think a lot of people are going to be mad because those repeat shades are the two mini six pan palettes from the star wars collection now from what i have read since she had like a contract or whatever with disney she was not able to bring those shades back so a lot of people really missed out on that collection. Me, because I wasn't buying Pat McGrath at the time, went and found it on, you guessed it, Macari, and was able to grab them. But, um, and that was recently. There are six shades in the middle of that mega palette that are brand new. You know, I think for me, I was trying to think, am I gonna wanna get this for six new shades? The size of the pans are smaller, and some people are disappointed because it's not that heavy acrylic black shiny uh, like luxe packaging but this allows the palette to be sold at a cheaper price point so that more people can try out pat mcgrath and a lot of people say they don't like traveling with their mothership palettes because they're afraid that they can get broken or messed up so this cardboard packaging is the perfect solution. The palette's gonna be $78. She usually gives a 10% off on the first day of the launch. So, you know, it's something that I am still thinking about, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'll probably will try to get it, knowing me, just because I have everything else and then I'm gonna feel weird not having one thing, which signals that I have a problem. All right, other items in the collection. She's gonna have three quads that are gonna come out. I think they're coming out either in October or November. There are six lipsticks, even though I think they're all repeat shades, but they're in a special packaging. She has two lip balms, and then she's gonna have a highlighter. The collection is beautiful. I'm sure I've shown a picture by now, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be the best collection for holiday 2020, but I think it's gonna be up there, so. Yes. Anyway, you know, with the palette being released tomorrow, I just wanted to do a video just to honor Pat McGrath and just show my collection because I mean, why not? It, it, so what I was thinking about, and I took so many notes on this, some people have asked me, which palette should I get? Like which one will be right for me? So I was like, why don't I do a video about that? Which Pat McGrath palette is right for you? And in doing that, I can do a little bit of swatching. I can just show you the different ones. And in case you wanna pick anything else up <laughs> with this launch, or just in general, the Sephora sales coming up, you may be able to make a decision. Now, I will say, some of these things are discontinued, but you know, there's always ways to find them. So, but I mean, I wouldn't pay like anything crazy for them. So, let's get started. Okay, this is how I've grouped it. 
and I should be inserting some pictures that I took soon. So I've divided these palettes into three groups. I have the motherships, which are the big palettes. Those are like the mommies. And then I have the mini six pan palettes, which are the babies. And then the three astral quads, which I call the grands. Okay. But y'all only see the clean part of my room. Okay, so these are the mamas. And these are the babies. And these are the grands. Sorry about all the noise in the background. Yes. Three generations. Well, not really, but you, you get the point. Let's get started with the motherships. I could talk about this all night, so I'm really gonna try not to make this video too long, but hopefully if you clicked on this video, you are just as excited as me. I think if you're gonna pay $125 for a palette, you want it to be something that you're gonna be able to wear on a daily basis if you want to. $125, it sounds really expensive, but it's really like paying $12.50 for each of those shades. If you just think about it, there are some brands that sell single eyeshadows for like 20 bucks. So if you just put it in perspective like that, it's a lot to drop at one time, but overall, I don't think it's the most expensive price that you would pay for a single eyeshadow. It's just that it's all in one palette. So I'm not trying to <laughs> rationalize my purchases, but I'm just, doing a little math here. You want something that you're gonna wear frequently, right? There's actually four of them that I feel like are super, super wearable, but there are two that I feel like are the best. My top two choices would be the Mothership 5, which is bronze, I always mess this up. I'm always like, bronze temptation, bronze seduction. It's bronze seduction. So either the Mothership 5 bronze seduction or the Mothership 7, which is Divine Rose. So let's take a look at these palettes and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here is Bronze Seduction and I'm just kind of tilting this down just because I really want the colors to pick up well. So what I like to do is if you take out these uh, special shades, these astral shades, just look at the color palette that's there and you see that's a basic, that's an everyday. Uh, color story right there. Okay, then you have your astrals here and then we also have the mothership seven Which is divine rose and I feel like if you are a beginner with eyeshadow These two palettes are perfect. They are not intimidating And the one thing that sets these apart from the other two that I'm going to show you is that I feel like here's divine rose without the special shades now the reason that i have these as my top two most wearable pat mcgrath palettes is that the entire story including the astral shades go together there's no pops in this one and i know that bronze seduction does have this pop of red but i feel like it's still on track with the other colors in the palette. That's why I picked these as my top two most wearable motherships. Now, the other two motherships that I do feel like are very, very wearable, I'm gonna show you, are the Mothership 2, which is Sublime, and the Mothership 7, which is Midnight Sun. These are the next two in this category. Here is Sublime. Oh, I just want my camera to just be good right now. Just please be good for this. Here is Sublime without the astrals. And I am making a mess over here on my bed, but it is all worth it, honey. All right, here is Midnight Sun. This is number seven, Mothership Seven. Lies, Mothership Six. The reason, and here it is without the astral shades. Very, very wearable right here. The reason that I have these as like my second tier everyday wearable one is because the astral shades aren't necessarily like, for instance, let me just show you. Like this purple, I don't wanna say it's out of place, but you see in Bronze Seduction and Divine Rose, it, the entire palette I thought like really cohesive. It's cohesive. This gives you a couple pops of color with this orange and with this purple, 
you know, you, you may or may not want that, but these shades right here are the business. That orange and that purple, that makes the palette. I still think this is super wearable. It's just not my top two. And then Sublime. <sighs> Sublime is beautiful, it's beautiful. Now, if you look at the Astrals, you see that it's got this beautiful green here. <laughs> And that's kind of a pop, you know, I don't want to say it doesn't belong, but I'm just saying it's not like how Divine Rose, like, like I said, it's just super cohesive. Like there's, there's no standout here to me. And I feel like all of those palettes that I just mentioned, the four of them, they all lean very, very warm. So, you know, if you like that bronzy kind of look, I think any of those palettes could be for you. So what I would suggest, I would suggest looking at the palette without the astrals and see if you like that color story and then look at the astrals and just see like which ones do you really like and then that's the palette you should get. Now there's eight motherships total so those are my four most wearable. My next four that I'm going to talk about are the four I think most creative in the bunch. Now I have seen Pat McGrath ranking videos. I'm not even gonna try to do that because on different days, I feel different about certain palettes. There is one palette, two palettes that are like my favorites. Yes, I will talk about them. I will swatch them. All right, let's talk about the most creative motherships. Oh, I'm about to drop one, Lord. In fourth place, I am gonna rank these for creative. In fourth place, I'm going to pick Divine Rose 2. I love this one. And you can tell, oh, my aunt probably gonna be so mad if she's watching this, cause she was like, you need to clean your palettes when you show these. I'm so sorry, I didn't do that. But, um, I mean, what can you say? I don't know. It is an artistry palette. It's not even called an eyeshadow palette. You've got blushes in here. You've got highlighters in here. You've got eyeshadows in here. You've got the, you know, the duochrome shade in here. I mean, yes. I just think that, you know, if you're not a pink lover, you're probably not gonna wanna do too much with this palette at all because, I mean, this palette screams pink to me. It screams Barbie. It just screams beautiful. Hmm. I can't, I just can't, oh, I just can't. Okay, and I'm gonna be honest with you. This was the palette of 2020. I don't care, say what you want, it was. It still is. I mean, look at this box. Come on. All right, number three. This is the Mothership One Subliminal. Believe it or not, I have not used this one yet. I don't just have enough eyes right now. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. I think this is very wearable too. If you like cool tones, this is gonna be all you right here because look at this. Look, it is really beautiful. The Astral Shades, Blitz Blue, that's Blitz Blue. And then there's another one I like, VR Violet. Now VR Violet is one of those, uh, another Astral Shade that it's gonna be a really good topper shade. But these are so pretty. I mean, you can really make some dramatic and creative looks with this palette. And you can see I haven't really used this one because you can see my box is intact. All the other ones, my boxes are like real raggedy. All right, it's a tie. It's really a tie for first place. All right, well, I'm still going with this one first. It is kind of a tie for first place for me. But this is Decadence. I've done videos on this palette before. This is the Star Wars release. This is a very, very, very special palette. And the reason that I think this one is super creative is because there's not really a color story here. I mean, it's all over the place, but the shades in here are so, so, so good. They are so good. There are no astral shades. There are no duochromes. These are just straight, like shimmery metallics. And I just think that this palette really offers so much as far as creativity goes. And I have said this before, the shimmers work just like mattes in this palette and in all of her palettes as far as I'm concerned. If you're looking for like a Pat McGrath palette that's like special, is this one, Decadence. Yes, that's exactly what this is. This palette has one of my favorite shades in it. It's called Divine Mink. I just love this shade. It's not 
a duochrome or anything like that, but it's just this smoke gray. I just love this shade so much. And this one is sold as a single. <sighs> okay. Now my number one palette for creativity, and this actually is my favorite Mothership palette. This is the Mothership 3 Subversive. I'm gonna swatch this palette because I just need y'all to understand. It might not look like it's anything extraordinary, but it is. I don't know what it is about this palette that I love so much. It just reminds me of like deep, dark, monsters I don't know like look at that it's like I can't think of the word that I'm looking for and it's upsetting me because I've been trying to think about it since last night I don't know I don't know what to say but man there's some shades in here mm. all right so let's just I want to swatch it this is what I have on my eyes right now and I just feel like the lighting here sometimes when I'm trying to do this at night and these lashes are not letting me be great can y'all see that do y'all see the three shades on the um, on my lid? I've got the yellow, the greenish yellow, and then there's like a um, like a blue purple. Y'all see that? And then there's this uh, fuchsia kind of color, which is called Night Creature. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So let me swatch this so y'all can understand because. I need y'all to understand. I don't know if Subversive gets the credit that it really deserves because, mm, okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna swatch it this way. Skin Show Fever is what I have under my brow bone. Okay, then we have Night Creature. Come on. All right, then we have Deep Shade. So Deep Shade is gonna be like your your matte brown dish. This next shade, okay, Gigabyte. Now I didn't even really pop it like on my lip. Can you imagine putting this all over your lid? Look at this. Do y'all see this? This palette right here, the colors are so different. I wanna know like, what were you thinking when you came up with this? What was in your mind? Like I can see, I can see your, your story for Divine Rose too. I can see it, it's all together. This palette, I just wanna know, Pat, what were you thinking? Because it is amazing. Next we have VR Pink. Now, I think all the VRs are the uh, dual chromes, so. I hope my camera is not blurry because I'm really trying to get y'all to understand this palette. So now we, the bottom row, a lot of her motherships have extreme black. So that's this. I never use this. I, I, okay, that was not a good swatch, but I don't really use black too much. Then we have Lazarus. Mm. Now I used Lazarus and Deep Shade in the transition area, just really light. And then I put Night Creature on the outer corner and Gigabyte on the inner corner, well, on the inner lid. These next two shades is where it just, this is, this is what did it for me with this palette, okay? Well, no, Gigabyte kinda. Black Metal. I love this. Black Metal is so pretty, like, it's like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. Now, over top of that is what I put on my lid. This is Blitzed Amethyst. Oh my gosh, y'all. Come on, Pat. Look. I just don't feel like, I don't know. I gotta, y'all know I'm still playing with these lights. Look at this. Look at that. And then last but not least, we have Astral Ghost Orchid. And that shade is like almost like an iridescent pinky white shade. Like in a way, it's like ugly beautiful. It's grungy, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't have anything like this. I don't think she's created anything else like this. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about it because I feel like we gotta move on. All right, so now we have the um, 
the, the, the babies. Now I can go through these really quick. I kind of group these the same way. So if you're looking for a six pan, that would be one of your everydays. I'm gonna show you. Almost every mothership has a baby. So here's the baby. Okay, platinum bronze. So this is my first Pat McGrath palette. It was $39. And I got it from her website. She had a sale. Everyday wear palette, but it's cool tone browns. I love this. If you like cool tones, this is your jam. All right. The cousin is going to be, see this baby. See the baby. This is the Bronze Ambition. Bronze Ambition is not being sold, but you can find it. So if you like warm tone palettes, this one's going to be for you. But if you like the cool tones, this one's going to be for you. So that's that. All right. My third place for everyday most wearable is Golden Opulent because I just feel like it's pretty wearable. If you like pinks, you know, this kind of gives you that little pink you can put on top of it. But other than that, you can use these uh, browns here as your little transitions and then put a little shimmer on top or a little gold if you're really trying to, you know, dress it up a little bit. This one was on sale on her website too, but I think it's sold out. And it was 39 on her website when it was on sale. Now the next three, if you really like pinks and purples, these are gonna be for you. So of course we have Rose Decadence, which was her most recent release. You got your whole continuation of that Divine Rose saga here. And you know, I know a lot of people are tired of it, but you know, if you can't get enough of these, that's the little baby for you. So yeah, this is the baby for this one. Now I just realized Midnight Sun doesn't have a baby that goes with it. Hmm. I don't know why she do that. I don't know why she didn't give Midnight Sun a baby, but that's okay. All right, so that's the baby. And then this is the baby. Now, I don't know when she released uh, these minis in comparison to the motherships, but I'm calling them the baby. This is La Vie and Rose. Um, hello. Look at this. I'm sorry. What? What did you say? Oh, yes, it is beautiful. And I know that a lot of people get tired of seeing the golds in all of her palettes, but I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm not pulling out a whole bunch of palettes to do a look. I'm using one palette. So I just need everything in there. And like a gold, I feel like won't ever go to waste. I'm showing this one because this is one of the repeats that are in the new makeup palette. This palette right here, don't talk to me. This is called Dark Galaxy. Here's the Star Wars. A lot of people like this because it's not that trifold flip out, but the shades in this palette are just really, really, really nice. I mean, this one shade right here, where can I even swatch this? Maybe here. I mean, this is just such a gorgeous shade. It's Saturnalia. So you'll get all six of these in the new palette. Like I said, they're gonna be smaller in size, but I mean, who cares? The other four minis don't really go with anything, but I'm gonna just show them to you. So the other six shades that are gonna be in the Mega Palette are the shades in Galactic Gold. So this is the second one from Star Wars, and these are the other six. I love this one. Oh my goodness, okay. This gold, I think this is gold standard. Gold standard she has in some of her other palettes, but like, I think that this is one of her best golds. And I don't mind having more than one. I love this shade right here called, let me see. <laughs> oh, it's called bronze. Okay, well, I love this shade. Like, it's just bronze. I mean, and then you've got galactic gold. I mean, the golds in this palette are just really, they're just, mmm. I mean, violet void. I hope I'm doing a good job. Violet Void, gorgeous. Wayne Mint, Electron. Look at, oh, oh, it's out of the. <sighs> okay, and then you have Corruption. So this is Galactic Gold. This is gonna be in the Mega Palette, like that with Dark Galaxy. And then, you know, you know, for me, I was kind of looking like I never paired those two palettes together, but then you put them in the same palette and they side by side. Mm. I don't know what to say. All right, the last three are like little sisters 
I think they came out together maybe, I don't know. We'll start with um, Dark Star. Dark Star is really beautiful, very deep. This blue is really nice, this gray. Again, she's got the gold. I love that this is more cool, but you've got that warm here. Just to spice it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I can't. Then we have Bronze Temptation. This, was, this one was a bit tricky for me to find. Bronze Temptation is really pretty. Such a beautiful palette. I love this green. This red shade is red, but mm, kind of not. It's a, let me see if y'all can see it. The shift in this color, wait a minute. See, hold on. Cause this is a duo chrome and it shifts. You probably can't even see it, but it actually shifts from red or uh, reddish. See, it's like yellow right down there. I can't even do it, but whatever. And this palette is very special to me because this is the last one I needed that I got a few months back that completed my entire collection. And this is Metal Morphosis. And Metal Morphosis is just metallic shades. It's got gold standard in there again that I showed you from the Star Wars palette. This is a really pretty one too. I love this um, silver one, it's called Sterling. Look how bright that is. I mean, I can't see. That's a very pretty shade. I mean, these shades are like, I mean, you're talking about one swipe. We're almost done because now we're at the, the grands. Now, if you're kind of like, you know what? I got enough eyeshadow, kind of like me, but you're like, I really do want to try out the Pat McGrath astral shades, then you could just go with these quads. Okay, she has three of them. Now, the most wearable one to me is Iconic Illumination. So this is Iconic Illumination. I feel like you could do Iconic Illumination. This would be a good partner for Midnight Sun. And I feel like this would be a really good partner for Bronze Seduction. This would be such a good extension. And the ring light is just really messing up my vibe right now. Now the second quad that was released with this is Ritualistic Rose. Now Ritualistic Rose, that's gonna be a great partner for any of the little family members in the Divine Rose. So Rose Decadence, Divine Rose, Divine Rose 2. You can see that these astral shades go great with that. But then you can also see like that these two are, they're like little cousins, right? Okay. Now, you know how like when you did um, genetics in school and you know, you did the little, it was like a grid where you would say, if this mixes with this, the baby's gonna look like this. But then there'd be like a real, 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 real slim chance that the, the baby or the offspring could come out with like some random feature that like nobody else in the family has. It'd be a real slim chance. Okay, that's what this palette is right here. This is like that rogue family member that like does whatever they want. And you'd be like, are they really a part of this family? That's Nocturnal Nirvana. You'll see why, hold on. So this doesn't go with anything, but it's gorgeous. This is like, you would see it and be like, is that my child? That's how Nocturnal Nirvana is. This is a very beautiful palette. And I think if you just wanted some off the wall special shades, this is the one you're gonna pick up because it's so different and so special and so unique. I need more hands. Look at this green. I just wish that the camera just, this is another duochrome shade and like it flips from like pink, like a purple, it almost flips from like a purple to this green. I wish I could make my hand do it, but I can't and I feel like I look stupid. All right, then we have this blue shade. This is called Blitz Aquamarine. This is just another beautiful shade. I really wish I could get this. All right, and then of course we have Blitz Purple. All right, and we've got Incandescent Gold 003. And that's just, not just another gold, but it's another gold. So that's the other Astral Quad, and that's the end of my collection. I wish y'all could see my bed. Can I, let me see if I can let y'all see my bed. Hold on. Uh, look at my bed. Uh. So that is the Pat McGrath 
eyeshadow palette family. And I'm so glad I got to do that video. I'm sure you can see how passionate I am. You know, I think that it's like, I like her as a person. Just after watching interviews and doing the master classes, I can just see how much she loves what she does. And just looking at the inspiration that she posts on her Instagram, it's amazing. I'm like, where did you find those pictures? Like, and how did you get that from that? I love that she engages when people make comments. And you know what? I don't care if it's not her that's really responding back. I think it's her and that's that. So I hope that this was helpful and not overwhelming and I hope you don't think I have a problem, um, you know, showing you my collection and just chatting a lot about Pat McGrath and her colors. But this makes me so happy and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and it made you happy too. So as always, I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for taking some of your time and giving it to me and hanging out. And yeah, make sure you're talking to yourself nice. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye.